reading. I just wanted to take a minute to um, go over my readings because I get a lot of uh, questions about the WTF readings. First of all, WTF is what the fuck. And that is what I said when I put this reading together. I just woke up one morning and Spirit had me do this. And yeah, I, when I pulled the energy, <laughs> I pulled the energy and yeah, I was like, what the fuck is this? You know what I'm saying? Like, oh my goodness. Like, cause yeah, you know, it was just overwhelming. But listen, a lot of you ask me who's speaking to who, who did what, you know, stuff of that nature. I just want to go over it real quick. Um, so this is the divine masculine card that I use journey to the divine masculine divine moon empress. Okay. I purchased this card. Um, so basically with these cards, it just tells you, you know, some of the things that the divine masculine may be going through, but the divine masculine for these cards is actually letting his feminine know everything that he's going through. Okay. So the feminine is getting a view into, uh, what her guy or girl, you know, put the energy where you need to is actually going through is feelings, thinking stuff of that nature, the stuff that you may not know. Okay, the Divine Feminine cards, these are mine, okay, Embracing Mattress Divine Feminine cards. Now, this card is actually talking to the masculine, okay? This is letting the masculine know, like, look, it feels like I'm dying a slow death without you. This is how you have me feeling, right? You broke my heart. This is what happened, you know? Um, yeah, well... I'm not going to keep waiting on you. I'm going to go on with my life. Whatever it is, okay, is in this deck. So this is the feminine talking to her masculine. This deck here, okay, is a mixture of the Twin Flame Soulmate, exclusively Karmic Edition 2 by Lorena OG Tarot, okay, and exclusively Karmic, okay. So I use both of these decks and I combine them to get information from the karmic side because i haven't created a karmic deck yet but i will be and for me basically i use these to pull that energy from whatever person um was in your third party situation okay so for this one he's just scared to leave me because he doesn't want me to ruin his image a lot of times okay a lot of times this is the other person in the third party, okay? This is, you know, you're not knowing that someone that you're dealing with has someone else. And a lot of times, maybe you do know that they have someone else. And this may not be someone that you're in communication with, but knowing the energy um, of that person or what their uh, intentions are is what I try to pull with these, okay? So it can get a little ugly because, yeah, this is this process is not pretty, okay? And I do apologize to people that do not like the energy, but my guides have me doing this because this is energy based on things that I have experienced in my life. So I want to bring it to you that way. Um, when it comes to the divine feminine to the karmic, this is an energy uh, deck that I created um, to be able to speak to the karmic, okay? A lot of times the divine feminine doesn't get to speak to the person um, that has had a hand in, you know, manipulating a relationship. Okay. So some of the things that she's saying in here are directed right at the karmic. Okay. Um, so just know that that's it. So divine feminine, excuse me, divine masculine, divine feminine. Okay. They are speaking to each other. This person is chiming in and speaking to uh, the divine feminine. Okay. And the divine feminine is speaking back to the karmic person with this deck. Okay. So I'm sending you all love and light. You guys take care. What's up, Aries? Check your WTF energy. This energy can be masculine or feminine. Y'all place it where it needs to go. Thank you all.
Divine Masculine for Aries wants to be complete, wants to love his feminine unconditionally, unselfishly, with no limitations. He wants a new beginning with his feminine. He wants things to grow the right way is what I'm hearing. He's walking away from a situation or a person because he's tired of being separated from his feminine. And this is after he ghosted her or she ghosted him out of sight, out of mind, unable to express feelings in a healthy manner, blocking phone numbers and or social media. Bottom of the deck, he still has these trust issues, afraid to be hurt, doesn't trust themselves, finds ways not to trust people, feeling insecure as well. Okay, divine feminine energy for Aries. Do you ever miss me or feel bad about what you have done? You have turned your back on me and your kids. No matter who you are with, no matter who I am with, a part of me will always love you. I thought we had a future together. You did not tell me that you didn't see me as a part of your future. And bottom of the deck, karma will refund what you have funded me. Okay. Karmic energy in between these two. I'm jealous of you, Divine Feminine. I have access to the Divine Masculine social media. So you guys be careful. I'm jealous of this connection, Divine Feminine. Deceiving the Divine Masculine. Anything else, Spirit? Thank you. A fake cry to the Divine Masculine. We argue way too much. Little does he know I don't even genuinely care for him. And I've been causing you drama so that you will hate the divine masculine. That's that spell work, y'all. Divine feminine to karmic. You could be a queen. You need to work on raising your vibration. Stop trolling me on social media, bitch. I am releasing this journey to the universe. Let go. He's not yours. Stop trapping him with pregnancy. Stop lying to him. Stop binding him. Stop manipulating him. I will pray for your soul. I will overcome each and every obstacle that you try and hurt me with. Bottom of the deck, this connection is forever. Okay? I'm sending you guys love and light. Y'all take care.